Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media, and my name is Darcy, of course, because it's my channel. I have been doing the Birgit Coopson Challenge, Jell Printing Challenge. It'll be in the title. Uh, so it's uh, still May 5th. So it's the fifth day, and day five is feathers. I do not have feathers, but um, when I was looking for my yarn yesterday, I found this boa yarn. So this is the closest thing I have to feathers. So I'm going to use this. Everybody else had feathers. Um, apparently, I don't know, maybe feathers aren't my thing. But, um, yeah, I don't have. But, you know, peacock. Peacock. Is that peacock? What language is that? I don't know. So, let's see. Where's the end? I should have found the end first. I kind of don't want to take it out of its package, but... I don't want to end up, uh, won't matter. I'm just going to cut off, a, oh wait, I found the end. It's twisted, no, that's not the end. Never mind. False alarm. Alright, let's just cut this. We could spend all day looking for the end. Till it is the end of the world as we know it. But we won't. All right, well, let me get some paint down. I haven't even picked my colors. Give me a second. Okay, got my colors. I thought I'd go with some peacocky type colors, maybe. But then I didn't get a purple out. Well, that was kind of dumb. Maybe I want a purple. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Let's grab this one. I rearranged all my um my paints. All right, you know the IKEA um cube thingies. Well, I just, um, on one of the boxes that has a wall in the back, I just laid all my paints down like this against that back wall, and I was able to fit them all, and there's room for more. Though I had them before, they barely fit in the two baskets, and they took up so much more room. Now I can fit those back there and, you know, stack a couple of baskets in front of it if I want to. So that's what I worked on today was um, the, the cube. All right, you want to see it? Hold on. Hopefully I won't. Oh man. All right. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna take off my lips. So hold on. I mean, don't hold on. Just stay with me. So this is what I worked on today. It's always evolving. These um were in something different, and now they're in this because now I can fit them all in this and fit my oxides in this. Um, oh, I was watching um, Lindsay, the frugal crafter. And she had her inks in like something like this, like flat, so you could see them all. And I happen to have these, cause you know, that was Gail's fault that I had these. Cause I was gonna sort my scraps into them. But they work great for, and just one layer, and you stack something else, and you put labels here. I got these on Amazon. So there's that. And I know, it's a lot to fit there. But I don't have a lot of space. So then here, you see back there, all those lovely paints. And then this basket, if I need to get to those paints down there, I can easily get to those paints down there just by pulling out this basket, which has, you know, my fluid acrylics, my metallics, and then my brayers go in here and there's a couple water bottles. And then under that are my die cuts. And then right here are my stencils. Uh, glues, um, my crocodile, and then there's uh, my other paints because these needed to be where I could reach them more easily because they're a little heavier and I was having that leg was getting in my way down there, so the die cuts are down there. So there's all my acrylic paints that are not craft paints are here, and then there's um, other paints here, chalk paints. No, chalk paints are up here. Uh, texture paints gesso, different heavy gesso, black gesso, clear gesso, all that stuff there. And then my stamps are right down there. And then on the very bottom shelf are my punches and um, little golden books just to, so I can have more because I, I don't have to get to them very often. So they're in a hard to get to spot. Whew, you dizzy now? So yeah, that's what I worked on today and tomorrow I'm going to be working on paper, I hope. 
plus my husband's going to be home, so we're going to work on clearing off the porch, too, because my dad's going to be coming back, so, well, for a little bit, and then he'll go back up to Massachusetts again. So, let me get myself a base layer here. Oh, my hand's hurting pretty bad today. I don't know what it is that I did. Um, I mean, I was just doing, what was I doing today? I was mostly, I, I don't know that, I mean, I wasn't, it's not like I was um, using my knife or anything, but my, my, my knuckles here are hurting quite a bit. So, there's that. That's not what I want. I'm going to get myself some, a base color here. For the for the feathers, and then I think um, I'll make it two separate videos. I think, but I'm gonna do tomorrow's video tonight because everyone's gonna be at home tomorrow. Well, that was not beautiful. <laughs> That's okay. More layers, more layers, so many more layers. I'm gonna do a couple of pages with some. Cause you know, oh well, that's all right. I'm like, what did I do? Look, I didn't do that the first time. Nope, I didn't. Well, did not mean to take that much off. I'm just get myself a couple of. I'll just do this. Just want to get some background color going on here. But yeah, two of these index cards, pretty much close to eight by ten. Yep double my uh, output here. <laughs> of course, that if I get a bad one, I get two bad ones, right? Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to do another color. What color did I just do? Was it that color? Do this lighter color. Ooh, nice noise. What's up with that, people? <sighs> okay, so it feels good to have that shelf a little bit more in control. I still have a few more stamps to, um, to, they're just in a box. They still need to get put in their, their right place. And I'll show you closer up, um, you know, how the stencils and stamps are stored at some point. But that's just the general, and it's always evolving. Because, you know, if something doesn't work, I will probably, you know, try something else. I was hoping to make these look more like a feather by putting them like that. But, nope. Just going to do that for now. And now that I've done that, I'm like, nope, because this is the way I wanted to go. much for remembering I was going the other direction. And my um my older son Joel just got home so you'll probably hear them talking in the background. What is up today? Must have been too close in color. Can't see those at all but let's hope that there's something fun here. found this uh, boa yarn at a, it was with the yarn I used yesterday, they were together um, at the thrift store. One time when I went, sorry, bang, I, I banged my desk. Joy. Yay! Whoops. Whoops. You have to actually see it, huh? See, that's that's the cool part when you, um, you know, go over it and the ink gets all, un you know, it just leaves that impression. That's, that's just so fun and so cool. Alright. What color are we? The blues? 
Blue and green. Ish. Uh, let's do purple. Maybe, maybe not. It's probably not going to look good. Um, I only say that because when I did the purple uh, turquoise on the purple the other day, it was not fantastic. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the purple on the turquoise will be different. I mean, on here it doesn't look bad. Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> there it is. Nothing real feathery about that one. Or that one. It's more like the yarn, I think. So let's go ahead and take this off and hope it leaves some color. I think so. I think so. I think so. Um, I guess I'll do the, the white, maybe. Ah, I forgot to shake it first. I hate when I do that. Because <laughs> then you get that weird liquid. Oh my goodness. That weird liquid that came out. Alright, I hope that impression is still there. Um, it's a lot cooler when you have an actual feather. Just let me tell you. The feather was cool. But if you go look on um, Instagram and do, you know, look at, look under the hashtag Birgit Coopson Gel Printing Challenge, I think it is. You know, it's the same as the title of my thing. <laughs> Still the same. Um, you'll see what everybody else has done. So. Oh, there we go. There's the purple. So my best way to get that one is to lay it down, smish it down, and then get this. So I could, I did the white, so I could still see the blue a little bit, and then we have that. So that is our feather. I feel like I should make a couple more because I have like a bunch, but I think that's it for that one. So you got to see that, and you got to see my organization fun from today. And let's see. All right, yep, I'll do one more. Oh, I haven't tried something with this. Okay, one person wants to communicate and the other person doesn't. That's always rough. Um, oh, I'm just going to do this. What I'm going to do. So I can get that layer down there, and it looks like I'm going to get a bunch of darker uh -uh, turquoise there too. Let's see. I don't know if this will show up great, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's not real thick, so it's being weird. I hate when my paint, paint is weird. Yeah, it's crooked. Eh, who will know? Yeah, I'll know. And you'll know. The people on Instagram won't know unless they come watch my videos. And only Wendy. Is this I don't know if I see anybody besides Wendy and Heather on there anyway. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Heather. Oh, there we go. That one's fun. There, now I have two just so cool how you can see all the details in that. I just love that. So yeah, you lay it down, you pick it up, and then you take your string off, and then you do it again, and you get this awesomeness. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, hi, you guys have a delightful day. I'll talk to you later. And also, I love you. Bye. <laughs>